thank you so much, Dr. Rolison. I, I have I have one. I mean, you were talking about how um camel cheese is kind of people know about it now, people are talking about it now even more. And um uh, but you also see one a uh, big flaw in the system uh, in, in terms of uh, logistics and supply chain and things kind of actually market linkages per se. Could you, could you tell us a little bit about that as well? Um, so actually, you know, we see the, the, the cheese, I think the logistics are not uh, by far not as difficult as we see uh, the, the milk. And um, at the moment, uh, we, I mean, we get orders, people uh, are giving us orders. Now they're ordering it as uh, for Diwali gifts, actually. We've had big orders. And uh, so at the moment, we actually, we are still, uh, you know, <laughs> need to develop our capacity, actually. We, I, I don't think we're ready for supermarkets yet. We tried that with the milk and uh, that was, uh, we've pulled out of that because we don't have the resources, but, um, we also have limited uh, cheese making facilities at the moment. One needs a lot of milk. Actually, out of one liter of milk, uh, you get uh, only uh, a tenth of that is going to be cheese. So for um, a kilo of cheese, you, we need about uh, 10 liters of milk. But uh, now I'm, I'm seeing the, the response. And so I think we're going to invest in, in uh, increasing our cheese making facilities. And yeah. That's that's really wonderful to hear. I hope to get some in Bangalore yeah, soon. <laughs> yes, soon you'll have it. I mean, I'm I was trying to show. Oh, I'm, I could show you the. Uh, I'm, how does it, it look? Amazing. So, so this is the black pepper. This is the red. Um, that is uh, green pepper, and then we have here, we have uh, the red pepper. And this one, the yellow one, Indians love the the yellow one because it's with. Um, it's with turmeric and some archvein and garlic. I think it's going to be a real health yeah. enhancer, that one. <laughs> so, and uh, apart from that, we are also working on some a sweet concoction uh, made from milk and honey. So things are in process, yes. <laughs> Lovely. Um, uh, Dr. Ellis, we have one question about um, the rennet and why it's uh, what why it's special and what helps it make the cheese better. Maybe you could tell us also a little bit about why we can't just use any like rennet to curdle. Why why is it uh, this special kind of rennet that's needed to be? You know, it, it, uh, somehow the, it's the proteins in the, in the camel with, which are different and which is why it doesn't uh, it doesn't curdle. Uh, so uh, this rennet that comes from Denmark, it's um, it's you know the the rennet originally it came from the calf stomach. Obviously, this is not the case here. Uh, I mean, I think this is made. Uh, it's an artificial rennet or something like a rennet, yeah. Mm. So it's a, da a Danish company called uh, CHR Hansen and they um, they actually have been supporting us a lot. They've been giving us the rennet, not just the rennet, but also various cultures um, uh, for free. And uh, yeah, they've been very supportive of us. So I don't, I can't, cannot exactly tell you, you know, it's something to do with the, the molecule structures of the proteins, why the camel milk doesn't uh, curdle. Mm. Um, that, that's really interesting. I have um, another question about like, uh, how, how do the Raika community uh, feel about making cheese? Because uh, it's not something that is, is done, say, traditionally. And this is a new product and a new process. So I'm I'm very curious to to know to uh, to know more about to more know more about their reactions to this as well. <laughs> yeah, she said they're actually not at all uh, no familiar with the, the concept of cheese. And uh, we just had a meeting last week, and uh, where camel breeders from all over Rajasthan came. You know, they're very upset because the Pushka Camel Fair it has been cancelled. Mm -hmm. So they're actually uh, writing a petition to the government for, you know, various interventions. So they, they all came here and I had prepared a, yeah, a plate of these cheese balls and they all said, oh, ladu, ladu. No? <laughs> then, <laughs> then they were disappointed because, you know, they tasted of garlic and green pepper instead of being sweet. So, um, yeah, but uh, actually the, 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 
turmeric variety, the one, it's a, like a young Raika boy, he has a very good palate, so he helped develop it. And um, yeah, I mean, personally, I, I was initially going more like for Mediterranean kind of flavor, but um, obviously for the uh, Indian palate, we have to do different. Yeah. 